हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल तो आज जिस टॉपिक पे मैं वीडियो बना रही हूँ वो आपका लेटेस्ट जो असाइनमेंट है एम एच आई वन ज़ीरो वन उसमें क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है राइट अ नोट ऑन मेजर डिबेट्स ऑन फ्यूडलिज्म एक स्टूडेंट ने मेरी मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन में लिख के भेजा था कि उनको इसका आंसर चाहिए तो मैंने यहाँ पर पूरा आंसर जो है डिस्क्राइब किया हुआ है और अभी मैं आपको पढ़ के भी इसको सुना रही हूँ पूरा आंसर किस तरीके से असाइनमेंट में लिखना है वो मैंने यहाँ पे पूरा डिस्क्राइब कर रखा है तो चलिए शुरू करते हैं सिर्फ उन्हीं के लिए नहीं और भी बच्चे जिनके असाइनमेंट्स वगैरह हैं प्रेजेंट जो लेटेस्ट सिलेबस के अकॉर्डिंग है आपके चाहे वो पॉलिटिकल साइंस के हो हिस्ट्री के हो चाहे बी एड के हो अगर किसी का क्वेश्चन नहीं किसी असाइनमेंट का क्वेश्चन नहीं सॉल्व कर पा रहे हैं आप लोग तो आप लोग मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन पर लिख के भेज सकते हैं मैं उस असाइनमेंट का क्वेश्चन सॉल्व करके आपको वीडियो पे डाल दूंगी ठीक है तो हम स्टार्ट करते हैं जो इंट्रोडक्शन है वो कैसा होना चाहिए इन इट्स इनिशियल स्टेजेस द मेन करेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म वर फीस वैसलेज नाइटली और मिलिट्री सर्विस इन अदर वर्ड्स फ्यूडलिज्म वॉज अ पोलिटिकल एंड मिलिट्री सिस्टम between a feudal aristocracy that is a lord and his vassal in its most classic sense feudalism refer to the medieval european political system composed of a set of reciprocal legal and military obligation among the warrior nobility which were centered on the three key concepts of lord vassal and fief according to numerous modern historians feudalism is an unworkable term and its use should be limited to the exclusively voluntary and personal bonds of mutual safeguard loyalty and support between the governmental military or religious elites in medieval europe dusra students mujhe ek cheez aur kehni thi sorry main interrupt kar rahi hu ki ye nahi ki sirf main aapko mhi 1 टू थ्री फोर फाइव इन्हीं के मतलब अगर जो स्टूडेंट सेकेंड ईयर में भी हैं इग्नू में अगर उन्हें भी किसी सब्जेक्ट के रिगार्डिंग असाइनमेंट्स चाहिए हो या फिर सॉल्व नोट्स चाहिए हो किसी चैप्टर के तो भी वो मुझे कमेंट सेक्शन पे लिख सकते हैं या मेरे व्हाट्सअप नंबर पे भी मैसेज कर सकते हैं जो मैं नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में दे दूँगी तो चलिए कंटिन्यू करते हैं सबसे पहले मैंने जो है पेरिनी थीसिस को यहाँ डिस्क्राइब किया है The Perini thesis was propounded by Belgian historian Henry Perini. The thesis changed the theories about antiquity radically. Perini argued that the real changes in Europe came from the rise of Islam, not barbarian invasion. The Perini thesis pointed out the importance of Mediterranean trade links and asserted that weakening of these links played a crucial role in the downfall of roman empire perini used statistical data regarding trade practices in support of his thesis lack of trade opportunities and weakening of the merchants led to total reliance on domestic agriculture and paved the way for emergence of feudalism as movable wealth was no longer important in economic life the ownership of land became the determining factor of social status though perini thesis did not entirely convinced all historians but provided new tools for understanding the period of early middle age in europe next topic is feudalism as ties of dependence the perini thesis explained the origin of feudalism but did not define it in detail There were two different theories in the beginning of the twentieth century about medieval feudalism. On the one hand, scholars of the legalistic school of history held a liberal view and maintained that the expression denotes the states born of the disintegration of the Carolingian Empire. On the other hand, the Marxists regarded it as an offshoot of the social, political, and ideological processes. which were based on the mode of production iske under maine jo bhi different different scholars the unke views yahan pe describe kiye hain jaise ki sabse pehle hai mark bloch 
who co-founded the Annals School of French Social History, was known for his zest for critical inquiry and demythologization. He studied the feudalism from the point of view of ties of dependence and argued that the bond of kinship increasingly tightened with the growth of feudalism. Bloch represented a mechanism for understanding of local trends of various societies instead of an extensive characterization of the feudal order. Bloch analyzed medieval ideas and institutions within the context of the intricate feudal bond, which laid the groundwork for the modern understanding of social organization of feudalism in medieval Europe. George's Tebby work published in 1953 helped shape a new understanding of medieval society and exerted a profound influence on medieval scholarship, placing the study of medieval feudal society on an entirely new footing. Dubby intensive and rigorous examination of a local society based on archival sources and a broad understanding of the social, environmental and economic basis of daily life became a standard model for medieval historical research. Like White Jr. pointed out that at a time when there was sharp decrease in trade mayhem in social order and degradence in higher realm of culture, technological improvements in agriculture not only sustained the peasantry but even improved their condition. Coming into existence of technological innovation and spread of their use changed the feudal society to a great extent. Why demonstrated that technology not only radically altered the farmer's work in the field by use of improved plow and a host of other invention, but also improved the lot of warrior by introducing stirrup for riding the horses. This is how his argument have come to be known as the plow and stirrup thesis. The technological invention which White found as making great difference to the farmers included iron plow for tilling, the crank in hand querns, rotary grindstone, the water mill for mechanical power, marling for soil improvement, and the three fill system for crop rotation. While in Frank Guy Boy's studies of medieval village economy raised questions about the dialectical role of economy and productive relations during the period of barbaric invasion and the first millennium, in the context of late feudal England, the various Marxist historians have argued in different ways. Anderson saw the genesis of feudalism as a synthesis of element released by the simultaneous ending of primitive communal and slave modes of production. Anderson did not agree with the usual description of feudalism as an economy of regression, considered feudalism as an advanced system that yielded more surplus than the classical slave mode of production. According to Anderson, the result of numerous structural contradictions of feudalism was such that drove the whole aggregate economy forward. Last me manage jo isko end kiya hai, wo hai conclusion ke taur pe, jo maine points conclusion me likhe hai, wo dekhe. The debate on feudalism is continuing. In fact, it is getting more interesting. Some scholars have pointed out that the term feudalism to portray varied phenomena in medieval Europe has been used indiscreetly. It has been argued that historians had been imposing the 11th and the 12th century legal jargon onto the much more multifaceted society and they have created a feudal world which simply did not exist. The result is that the term feudalism has been deprived of any specific meaning. Many historians had politi and political theorists have expressed doubts about its utility as a concept for understanding society. So students, I have provided this assignment ka aapko, assignment question ka answer provide karaya hai. Aur agar aapko mera hai video pasand aaya ho aur ye answer agar aapko अच्छा लगा हो पॉइंट टू पॉइंट लगा हो तो प्लीज़ मेरे चैनल को लाइक कीजिए शेयर कीजिए सब्सक्राइब कीजिए 
बेल आइकन को दबाइए ताकि जब भी मैं कोई लेटेस्ट वीडियो डालूँ उसकी नोटिफिकेशन आप तक पहुँच जाए और स्टूडेंट्स अगर आपको ऐसे ही असाइनमेंट्स चाहिए हो असाइनमेंट सॉल्व क्वेश्चन चाहिए हो प्रीवियस ईयर सॉल्व क्वेश्चन पेपर चाहिए हो या फिर किसी भी चैप्टर के नोट्स चाहिए हो हिस्ट्री के रिगार्डिंग पॉलिटिकल साइंस के रिगार्डिंग जो बच्चे ग्रेजुएशन में हैं या पोस्ट ग्रेजुएशन में हैं या जो बैचलर ऑफ एजुकेशन बीएड कर रहे हैं इग्नूक से उनको अगर कोई चैप्टर के नोट्स या सॉल्व क्वेश्चन चाहिए हो तो आप मुझे मेरे कमेंट सेक्शन पे लिख के भेज सकते हैं या फिर मेरे व्हाट्सअप नंबर पर भी आप लोग मैसेज कर सकते हैं जो कि नीचे डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में मैं नंबर दे दूंगी आपको सिर्फ मैसेज करना है कॉल नहीं करना है आई होप मेरा ये वीडियो आप लोगों को पसंद आया हो आज के लिए बस इतना ही नेक्स्ट वीडियो तक बाय